Welcome to Facts. There is no doubt that shipwrecking is one of the leading cause of loss of material possessions and human lives. According to statistics, there are over 3 million shipwrecks lying across ocean floors and there's literally nothing that anyone can do about it. While some ship disasters, such as the sinking of the Titanic, have captured the popular imagination of people across the world, there are also others which involved a significantly greater loss of life and have remained relatively unknown. In today's video, we are going to take a virtual tour and dive into the deep oceans to take a look at the top to most disastrous shipwrecks that you should know about apart from the Titanic. The first on facts list is the SS Arctic of 1854. If you are familiar with the sinking of the Titanic, then you are aware of the principle of women and children first, but what if that principle was ignored? On September 27, 1854, the SS Arctic, which was a passenger paddle steamship of the Collins Line, entered a dense fog off the Newfoundland coast and collided with the French fishing vessel the Vesta. Many attempts were made to patch the hole in the hull with sailcloth and mattresses, but it failed, and over the course of four agonizing hours, water crept in, finally extinguishing the sheep's boilers and pumps. With 250 passengers and 150 crew on board, the Arctic's six lifeboats were woefully inadequate to carry more than 180. At first, the process of loading the women and children went as planned until panic began to spread amongst the sheep's crew. As the panic continued, the men began to swam the lifeboats to the point that one of the boats was tipped over, sending most of its dozen occupants, mostly women, into the sea to drown. Desperate to restore discipline, the captain attempted to launch another boat on the opposite side of the ship, only to see it too filled with male crew rather than women and children. The two remaining boats and a makeshift raft built by loyal officers were likewise taken by the sheep's crew. One boat stolen by the engineering staff who, brandishing firearms, told the crowd that they needed the boat to patch the hole in the ship. No sooner had the boat launched only half full when it rowed away, leaving the waiting women and children to their fate. Out of over 400 souls aboard, it was recorded that only 85 of them survived, 61 of them are crew members, while the remaining 24 of them are male passengers. Unfortunately, no help came until all the women and children drowned. Before we continue, Facts is pleading with you to support and encourage us by subscribing to our YouTube channel and turn on post notification to catch up on all our latest contents. You should also connect with us by following us on TikTok at Facts1, Instagram Facts01 and finally on Facebook at Facts. We really appreciate your support. Second on Facts list of the most disastrous shipwrecks apart from the Titanic is the Empress of the Island. It was a mega ship that was built in the Clyde Yard of the Fairfield Shipbuilding Company in Scotland, after which it was launched into the market of the transatlantic travel in 1904 by the Canadian Pacific Railway Company. Before she sank, the Empress of Ireland was on her 96th transatlantic run and had brought over 100,000 immigrants from Liverpool to Quebec and nearly 70,000 in the opposite direction. She was one of the most popular ships of her day for comfort and speed in travel. The first-class staterooms were located amidships on the upper deck and lower promenade decks, which encircled the ship and were decorated with potted plants at intervals. First-class passengers had access to their own CAF, music room, smoking room for the men and a library. The Empress of the Island met her end almost the same way as the SS Arctic, due to the fact that it also collided with the Norwegian Collier Storstad around 1.50 a.m. in the morning of May 29, 1914. The event came two years after the Titanic sank after striking an iceberg on April 15, 1912, taking over 1,500 lives. After the Titanic tragedy, measures were taken to ensure nothing like it would happen again. The Empress of Ireland was therefore equipped with more lifeboats than necessary and watertight longitudinal bulkheads, which in the event of an emergency could be sealed, so the ship would remain afloat even with two of the sections compromised. 
All these precautions turned out to be useless after the ship was struck by the Norwegian Collier Storstad on May 29, 1914, tearing a large gash in the starboard side of the Empress that flooded the ship and sank her in under 14 minutes. Water poured into her side so quickly that there was no time to shut the watertight doors, and the list to starboard increased so quickly that it nullified the portside lifeboats, which could not be lowered. Many passengers sleeping on the starboard side drowned in their cabins, but some who made it to the boat deck were able to successfully launch five of the lifeboats. About five minutes later, the ship lost both mechanical and electrical power, which resulted in total darkness. The remaining passengers that were not already dead took refuge on the exposed portside hull, where they watched the frigid water slowly creep up the hull to claim them. In total, there were 1,477 souls aboard the ship, and the unexpected incident claimed the lives of 1,012 out of them. If you enjoyed this video, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you won't miss out on any of our contents. Thanks for watching.